So this was a commercial that came on during the football game last night. And it is filmed with my phone on my laptop. But it's a commercial. I think it's from Wealth Simple or one of the investing sites anyways. But they're talking about how if you had invested $100,000 30 years ago, this is how much you'd have. This is how much you would have less the fees that the mutual funds, the money managers charge you. This is the aftermath. So I want to give our own spin on it. I want to use Bitcoin instead of their 8% return here. So let's watch this commercial. And then we'll, then we'll look at our spreadsheet comparing 30 years in the market versus 10 years in Bitcoin. Quest trade. What did he say there? If you understand it, you'll earn it. And if you don't, you'll pay for it. And that's what's happening here with Bitcoin too. So I got some numbers here. Haven't had a spreadsheet for a while. Let's bring it up. These are the numbers. Can we see this? So this was their example there. 100,000 bucks 30 years ago. But I, I said, instead of using 30 years, obviously Bitcoin hasn't been around for 30 years, but let's use 10 years. So I took the $100,000 that he talked about investing. 10 years ago, the price of Bitcoin was $457 today, 10 years ago. And you would have got 218 Bitcoin for that. Those 218 Bitcoin today at a value of fiat value of 59,000 average, we didn't want to use 58 there, but you would have $12.9 million. It's a little bit better. So there you go. Here's your comparisons. You got 30 years in the market earning 8%. This was his example. You got a million dollars. 30 years in the market, 8%, you got a million bucks after investing a hundred thousand bucks. After your 2% fee paid to your money manager to move that around back and forth a couple times, you net $548,000, 30 years. Doesn't seem that great. How about 10 years in Bitcoin? You got a hundred thousand bucks. You would now have $12.9 million US. And there are no fees. Nobody's ma managing that for you. If you would have bought that, held it on your own, nobody's charging you a fee for that. So you get the same amount, $12.9 million US. So your net loss for being in the market instead of Bitcoin, 12,361,360 US dollars. That's your net loss. And people love to say how much they're portfolio has gone up. This is 8%, which is probably, I would say around the average for the stock market in terms of the return. Some years are up, some years are down, but that's usually the average that people strive for is 8%. But compared to Bitcoin, you've, you lost $12.3 million. And I would be interested to see, hold on, let's do this. Let's do this live. I like doing things live, even though it never works out. It's fun to do. So we're going to use an even more reasonable example. So let's do Bitcoin price. I'll share this just so you, you, you don't think I'm doing any funny business here. By the way, somebody asked when, how long this is going to be here. I don't know. I actually forgot it was there, but hoping maybe somebody from Miller Lite sees it and maybe tosses some ad money here. So Bitcoin price, September 17th, 2000, no, what would that be? 2019, five years ago. So 10,000 bucks, 10, 
10 to 41. So let's jump over to our spreadsheet here. What was that? 10 to 41. So you would, this was five years ago now. With 100,000 bucks, you would have got 9.7 Bitcoin. So that nine points, that's not right, is it? Yeah. So you would have got 9.7 Bitcoin. That 9.7 Bitcoin is now worth 576,000. Okay, so this doesn't change your 30 years in the market at 8%. You get you get a take home. Okay, this has actually worked out perfect. You get a take home of the 548 like we just talked about. So we're going to change this to be five years in Bitcoin. And that is going to equal the 576. And so your net loss for being in the market of 30 years compared to five years in Bitcoin you had a net loss of $27,000, which was essentially 20, 25% of your net investment. So five years in Bitcoin outperformed 30 years in the market. Wow. I knew that I knew the 10 year one would be crazy. But even five years in Bitcoin, you outperformed a, a pretty good average there in the market. 30 years of it, though. That's crazy. <clears throat> so going back to his video there, what did he say? If you understand it, you can earn it. And if you don't, you pay for it. Yep. That's what people are doing right now. They're paying for it. They're paying for their ignorance. And they're not realizing that in 10 years from now, that's going to be even more skewed than it is. Because after 10 years, after five years, there's only been the big money in the world has only been able to access Bitcoin for the last eight months. And only a fraction of that mo big money is actually at the point now where they have been able to get in there. <clears throat> 